What's up guys, I'm Kat here and today we're going to be talking about the different sniper classes, the pros and the cons, and my experience with them. The first sniper we're going to be looking at is the USR as it's the first sniper listed. It's a bold action sniper meaning you wait half a second between shots like you would with the DSR in Black Ops 2. It also has a recoil compensator which basically means with each shot taken it reduces the recoil on the weapon. It also has the lowest damage out of the classes but the highest mobility to make up for it. From my experience with the weapon, it's okay for quick scoping, but not the best weapon out of the lot. It would probably be my third choice. Second up is the L115. The sniper is also bolt action but has a lower fire rate than the USR. It also comes equipped with the recoil compensator as well as having the highest damage count of all the snipers, making it seem like a good choice for quick scoping. This sniper is described as deadly from the knee up, having the highest damage count. The mobility on the weapon is average, but if you make your first shot count, that won't even matter. From my experience with this weapon, it's great for quick scoping once you get the hang of it and can be equally as deadly for the use of those standstill snipers. Third up, we have the Lynx, a semi-automatic sniper rifle holding the lowest mobility and accuracy. Aside from those less than appealing attributes, this sniper actually has the highest damage and the highest range. Its damage is highest from the knee up and if you miss your first shot, well, you can take a few more to clean up your target. Keep in mind that once you take your first shot, the shots following will have less accuracy if you just keep firing. From my experience, I actually found this weapon the easiest to get used to in terms of quick scoping, although the stats make it seem like it would be the hardest. And last but not least, we have the VKS. This sniper has a unique built-in silencer which will definitely make those standstill snipers very happy. It also holds the highest ammo capacity as well as accuracy, damage, and mobility, making it a pretty desirable weapon for those who favor sniping. From my experience, I found the sniper to be one of my least favorites personally, but once I started getting the hang of it, it seemed to be a fairly decent weapon. I would definitely recommend this to anybody who'd rather stay still sniping than run around quick scoping. And there you guys go, just some quick little stats on the snipers of Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, a lot of this information I got from using the snipers and reading what the description said of the snipers, so um, I'm not going to say 100% of this is right, it's just my personal feelings on it. Uh, if you have any information on the snipers that you want to share, leave a comment below, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys later.